congrats, many congrats Thank for giving you. us a, a real high point. You know, Thank as so you. many British players have done, despite going out in the end to Alex Domino. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling uh, a little bit tired, even though I had the day off yesterday. It's it's been a really intense few weeks. Obviously, Wimbledon, especially for the British players. It's for the men as well, best of five sets. I played doubles in on the days in between my uh, singles matches, and I think everyone can be proud of themselves. And obviously, Cam's still going, and a few of the doubles players still going too. So I think it's been a good showing this year so far. And I was reading, could it have been a different result for you? Because rather unusually, you had to send your racket yeah. to be re-strung, <laughs> didn't? I'll message Andy and say, "Oh, have you checked the live score app and seen yeah. any good results today?" And and he'll send me a torrent of abuse back. And, uh, <laughs> but this time I, I couldn't really do it because obviously he, uh, he had a tough one against John Isner on, on this court, I think, yeah, I think yeah. it was. And, uh, and I didn't want <laughs> to rub it in his face too much, but I'm sure I'll give him some, some stick for it yeah. at some point. I'm sure. Playing it safe yeah, this exactly, time. Pro exactly. Probably sensible. Um, talk to us about Cam Norrie, the last British player now left in the, in the singles championship this year. What have you made of what he's been doing at his home Grand Slam? and to reach the quarterfinals for the first time. Just give us an assessment of, of what we're seeing. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've obviously witnessed Cam from the age of 18 to where he is now, and um, I think him going to US college and university to get a load of uh, matches, and they had some really good coaches at the college he went to, and, and I think he matured brilliantly. And then I think somebody said he was 70 in the world at the start of last year, which, is, I mean, looking back now, is an astronomical rise. Um, I think he looks... He looks so comfortable. I mean, he's in the quarterfinals now and he doesn't show any signs of stopping. I mean, he, Tommy Paul is a fantastic mm. tennis player. I thought that was going to be a difficult match and he absolutely took Tommy to pieces. And that's just what Cam does. He's, he's more comfortable being uncomfortable than, than a lot of other players. And that's what he's based his game around. And he's definitely improved his serve a lot. He's got a lot more aggressive and on the grass, obviously that works. And you would have said coming into this event that maybe the yeah. grass wasn't his strongest surface and now he's had his best result at a slam on it. Yeah. And in a word, Liam, obviously we'll see Nick Kyrgios out here later. In a word, love it or hate it? I love it. Do you? I, I love it. I think Nick's brilliant for the sport. I think um, at the end of the day, tennis is a mental sport as, as much as it is a, a flair sport and a talent sport and, and a physical sport. And Nick. Would you still love it if he was doing that on the other side of the net? He did that? in Australia this year. Of course, yeah. So, yeah. so, I mean, I, I, I had to, I had to had sit, to sit there and take it, really, whilst the Nick Kyrgios show was going on <laughs> down the other side of the court. But my, my opinion of it is that if you can't beat him when he's doing this stuff, then it's, your own, it's on you. It is. And, and if Nick's willing to beat you and entertain people whilst he does it, then why not? I think it's good for the sport. I think sometimes he can boil over and go a little bit too far, which we saw against... Um, I can't remember. Sitsipas. Sitsipas. Yeah. And, and, well, and the guy before, he spat at somebody yes. in the crowd. And, and that was against Paul Job, another yeah, British player. Yeah, and, and I think that one he went a little bit too far. But against Sitsipas, I mean, I, I know Steph as well, and he's a nice guy, but I'm not sure if it was really bullying. It, it, it can feel like that, especially when he's doing it in front of a whole crowd in there. Mm. And obviously, I think Wimbledon fans love, love Nick Kyrgios. Well, there'll be a full crowd here later. He's first up, Nick Kyrgios. Liam, great to speak to you. Thanks very much. He's certainly Thank box you. office. We'll see what, uh, what he produces later. Hi, Hamish Haggis here. We're sad to see Liam Brody go out of Wimbledon, an entertaining player with so much promise. Andy Murray played well, but he was overpowered by John Isner's serve. But Cam Norrie, well, he's good enough to win the tournament this year. And of course, Nick Kyrgios. What an entertaining force of nature, despite his faults.